Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to be working on this beautiful color shift. It's I love this stuff. So I started with a 20 ounce straight skinny tumbler from Tumblr Supply Store and I painted the bottom portion flat black. I knew I would be covering the top portion up with this beautiful vinyl from Diamonds and Dust. I'm not usually a skull like skeleton creepy like type of person for Halloween but I saw this with the watercolor flowers and they're beautiful so I knew that I had to do something with it and then when I got the color shift powder I knew that they instantly had to go together so I kind of decided how far up I wanted the vinyl and then I trimmed it to where I didn't want to cut any of the skulls in half. So I trimmed it so that I'd get a full skull and then I trimmed off the top portion. Once I got a good idea for the size, I trimmed off the white edges and then I trimmed off the top portion of that vinyl and then I applied it to the tumbler using the hinge method. I wanted to make sure it lined up perfectly so I always try to take my time to make sure it's really straight because sometimes even the slightest bit off it throws me off completely especially when I'm trying to add striping because it always looks not straight to me so I try to get the vinyl as straight as possible so I just lined it up right at the edge but I left a tiny bit like of an overhang so I could just trim that off and then I cut away a little bit of the backing and then just use my felt edge squeezy to squeegee to push that and apply the vinyl. When I trimmed off the excess vinyl, I wanted to try to not go in a straight line. I didn't really want to cut off any of the flowers or cut off any of the skull faces. So I kind of went in a rounded shape to cut around things. After I cut off the first big chunk of the vinyl, then I kind of just worked my way around this skull. I really wanted this skull to show. So I just peeled or cut back and peeled off a little bit at a time trying to kind of go around flowers like I said just so I don't cut any flowers in half just to kind of give it a more cohesive blended seam look. This color shift powder came from AB Designs Co. It is called Caterpillar and it's Chameleon Powder. It is so cool. But remember, if you use this, you have to do it over a dark base. I don't know the exact science of it all, but over white, it just does not show the same color shift like it does over black. So I used my paintbrush and I used adhesive foil adhesive glue my paintbrush was a little bit wet because I had just washed it which actually I think helped in the end because it really spread a lot better so I think I might start doing that in the future just adding a little bit of water when I spread it on it was so much easier so I spread that on I 
used my heat gun to help it dry a little bit faster. And then I just took the same paintbrush. I just wiped all the glue off and I dipped the paintbrush right in the powder and just brushed it right on to the glue. And be careful because this stuff goes everywhere. It was making a gigantic mess. I was trying to be very careful, but this powder is just so fine. It just goes everywhere. So I just covered that whole surface where the glue was, which is all on the black surface. And after I completely covered it, it wasn't sticky anymore. So it's just like when you cover it with foil and you cannot feel the stickiness anymore. It was going all over the paper that I was using. So I was trying to pick that up because I also didn't want to waste any of it. You get a tiny little jar. So I almost really wanted to hoard it after I got it because I was so afraid that I'd love it so much and then not be able to ever get it in again, but I digress and I used it and I'm so glad I did because it literally matches this vinyl perfectly. So I just made sure that I had every spot covered and just finished that up. Once I was all done with that, I did not seal it because I did not know how this powder would react to any kind of sealer. So I just let it dry and then I, actually it was dry once the glue is sticky, then it's dry, you know that. So anyways, after that, I just set it aside for a little bit and then I gave it two thin coats of epoxy. And then I really wanted some kind of damask design for the bottom, but I couldn't really figure out what I wanted exactly. Nothing seemed to fit. So I designed this one with the skulls in it. So just tie in those skulls from the top to the bottom. And I sized it to go around the bottom to fit the height and the width around. And then I cut that out of glossy black vinyl and then applied that to the tumbler. Now here is when things started to go awry for me. I thought, well, I'll add the same damask design, but in a lighter color to the open spaces. I was kind of looking for maybe like a frosted look. So I picked out this vinyl that I've had forever. It's like a, almost like a frosted clear glitter. Well, I remember now after I did this, why I never use this because I applied it to the tumbler, I added a coat of epoxy and then you couldn't see it at all. So it was like pointless to even add it. It was like a whole wasted step here. You can see it before I add the epoxy and then you can't. So after that, I just went with it and I added these pink skulls, like a bigger skull and the more I stared at it, the more I hated it. So I, I had put on the pink skulls and then I added some black striping and I just, I wasn't loving it. So I took the pink skulls off and I added them in black and I loved that much more. I 
was trying to decide what decal or saying to put on it. So I wanted to also find a color that really matched. I tried some purple. I didn't like it. I really didn't like that pink. So I found this really cool textured glitter vinyl sheet that I had gotten from Hobby Lobby. And also things were going awry when I cut this. I decided to go with the saying, does this coffee make me look alive? It kind of felt like it really matched the theme with the skulls. And it was difficult. This glitter vinyl is really, really hard to cut. I decided to do the saying and then also create an offset for it. And I had to cut this glitter vinyl like four times because it just was not cutting. I had to do it on like a cardstock setting because it's super thick. It's really thick and rough. So I then cut the the backing or the offset and I didn't have any transfer tape that was sticky enough or strong enough to pick up the glitter vinyl. So I ended up having to place it on the offset individually. And in hindsight, I should have put the offset on the cup first and then applied the letters, but I wasn't thinking. So I did it this way. And then again, I didn't have any transfer tape that was strong enough to pick it up. So you'll see here, I ended up having to just go with what stuck on the cup and then place the rest of the letters all by hand. Also, I couldn't get the word coffee or alive to cut out of that glitter vinyl. I think it was just too thin. And because it was so thick, it just was not working. So it's okay. You know, just like they say, it was like a happy little accident because I ended up liking the way it looked with the some words in the glitter vinyl and then the other two cursive words in the black vinyl. After that I decided I also wanted to add one of the glitter vinyl striping lines to the striping area so that it kind of tied it all in together. So I removed one of those black striping lines that I applied earlier and I put on one of the glitter ones and then added another black one above it to just kind of frame out the glitter one. After that, I was really worried that the glitter vinyl would lift because it was on the thicker side and I decided to go ahead and seal it with a coat of polycrylic. I just used glossy polycrylic. I put that on, let it sit on the spinner for a good 30 to 45 minutes. I wanted to make sure that it was completely dry and then it got two final coats of epoxy and it was all done. 
it turned out really, really pretty. I really love it. Again, I'm not a huge skull person, but I really love the way this one all came it's together. Really I feel like perfect. the flowers and the glitter and the color shift kind of really soften the look of the skulls. And the epoxy over that glitter vinyl, it didn't dull the sparkle, which I love. It's really like a, it's a color shift glitter vinyl, but you can kind of, it's not like overbearing color shifty. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I really love the way it turned out. It will be available on my website if you would like to purchase it. And I, again, will, like always, leave all of the description, all of the information down in the description box, what products I use and where you can find me. And I hope you have a wonderful week and I will be ne back next weekend with another tutorial for you. Bye y'all.